It's hard to believe that today's landscape hasn't always looked like this. And yet, the foundations for the land use and habitats we see today were laid by geological events that took place millions of years ago. Vast swamp forests once dominated the landscape. Over time, trees fell, creating thick layers of vegetation. The weight of the build-up of more layers helped transform them into rich underground coal deposits, which fueled the Industrial Revolution 300 million years later. During the last ice age, a huge glacier moved slowly through the landscape, carving a large flat-bottomed valley through the soft sedimentary rock. The harder igneous rock resisted erosion, creating distinctive hill features. With a warmer climate and ice melt, sea levels became much higher than they are today. Then, with the weight of the ice gone, the land rebounded, and what it left behind was extraordinary. An extensive network of wetland habitats now covered the land as huge areas of mudflats and salt marsh formed. These habitats supported vast numbers of birds, which fed on the abundant invertebrate life. And, despite the many changes to land use in the years to come, this is still the case today. Humans have inhabited the Inner Forth for at least 7,000 years. Early humans were nomadic hunter-gatherers, relying heavily on shellfish for food. Even today, shell middens can be found where they discarded the waste. However, it was during the Middle Ages that wetlands were initially drained to make them more usable for grazing animals and growing crops. Over time, walls were built to keep the river from flooding farmland. As populations and agriculture grew, important wildlife habitats were slowly lost, endangering the species that depended on them. Human use of the intertidal area of the River Forth became more demanding from the 18th century. As agriculture intensified, fields became bigger and more machinery was used. Distilling also began on a commercial scale at Kennet Pans, and the production of coal, iron and limestone reached record levels. Huge quantities of imports and exports were carried in and out of harbours dotted along the coastline. As the demand for fossil fuels increased, the Inner Forth was established as the industrial heartland of Scotland. During the 20th century, huge industrial sites developed. Power stations at Kincardin and Longanet and Grangemouth's oil refinery were built. Not only were these built on reclaimed land, some actually created new areas of land from the ash they produced, which radically changed the shape of the river. The intense use of fossil fuels globally has had an extremely negative impact on the planet, releasing huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and contributing to climate change. More powerful storms are already beginning to erode the salt marsh and overtop existing sea walls, leaving these crucially important habitats and the species that rely on them under threat. Salt marsh acts as an amazing buffer between the stormy waves and the shoreline and could protect us from these storms. However, since the 1600s, we have lost over 50% of our intertidal habitat. At present, Wildlife still thrives here, and the Inner Forth is protected for the many species of birds that it supports. But it still needs our help. Allowing the river to flow in places it used to hundreds of years ago will create a more natural and sustainable landscape, a safe place for birds to feed and roost again. And by allowing more salt marsh to grow, the buffer against the waves will return. Some industrial areas have already been transformed. RSPB Black Devon Wetlands is a nature reserve in Alloa. Created on a site with an industrial past, it has become a haven for wildlife. We now look to produce greener, more sustainable energy. This is a step towards protecting and caring for our landscape and the wildlife that depends on it. But now we need you. Be a champion for the inner force. Tell others about this wonderful place full of history and wildlife. 
find out how you can help in your local area and get outside and enjoy it yourself.